we are going to do bjt biasing circuits today we have three different configurations one is fixed base bias configuration the second one is emitter feedback bias configuration and the third one is voltage divider bias configuration here you see the components required for building all the three circuits to start with the experiment you need to measure the resistance values and note them in corresponding places uh, this is fixed base bias configuration circuit you are using one 2n3904 transistor 1 mega ohm resistor connected to the base and 2.2 kilo ohm resistance connected to the collector the supply voltage should be 12 here table 6.2 is for the fixed base bias configuration you are going to measure the voltage across the collector and emitter across the collector resistor between the base and emitter of the transistor you are also going to measure the current flowing in the collector and flowing in the base for measuring the currents you should break the circuit at those points and connect the ammeter in series this is fixed base bias circuit the collector gets 2.2 kilo ohm resistance the base gets 1 mega ohm resistance i've connected the emitter of the transistor to ground the second end of the base resistor to the positive of the power supply second end of the collector resistor to the positive of the power supply i am connecting positive of the power supply to this point and negative of the power supply to this point this power supply is set to 12 volts positive i have taken from here negative from here this is positive of my multimeter this is negative of my multimeter to measure the collector emitter voltage i connect between the collector and emitter i have connected the two ends of the dmm across the collector resistor this is positive and this is negative this measures vrc i have connected between the base and the emitter of the transistor to measure vbe i initially used this transistor then this transistor and the other piece of 2n3904 here i have noted the values of vce vrc vbe for the three transistors and there are some differences across vce rc but vbe remains constant for me it doesn't mean that it should be same for you also for all the three transistors whatever you get you can record it here for measuring the collector current i have to take out break the circuit at this point now my ammeter should go between these two ends have connected positive of my dmm here and negative here for measuring ib i disconnected the circuit at this point connected positive of my ammeter here negative of the ammeter here now i'm going to hook up emitter feedback bias circuit it has a resistor connected to the emitter 1 kilo ohm resistance this is going to act like a feedback resistor making this transistor better stable the circuit is here you see the emitter the emitter gets 1 kilo ohm resistance the other end is connected to ground the collector is getting 2.2 kilo ohm resistance and it's connected to the power supply the base the base is getting 1 mega ohm resistance and that is also connected to the power supply positive line i have connected it here with this setup i am going to do measurements for table 6.4 i am going to measure the collector emitter voltage voltage across the collector resistor voltage across the emitter resistor i am going to measure the collector current and also the base current now this is my collector this is my emitter vce is measured between these two points 
observe the voltmeter it shows me 2.55 i am going to record it voltage across the collector resistor is between these two points positive here negative here and the voltmeter reads 1.73 volts voltage across the emitter resistor is here positive here negative here and the meter shows me 7.76 volts now i'm going to change my meter into an ammeter for measuring the collector current i am just breaking the circuit at the collector and i am going to connect the ammeter between the open ends like this the current is 0.79 milliamps i am going to measure base current i removed the base resistance from the power supply and i am going to connect the ammeter between those open ends it shows 0.004 milliamps i am going to replace the transistor i am taking it and replacing it by a new transistor i am going to do the same measurements i got different values for vce vrc vre ic and ib for different transistors like this they have shown me some variation in their voltages and currents i am going to hook up this circuit this is voltage divided by sing i am going to have different resistors at the base acting as voltage divider and i'm going to change again three different transistors to see how the biasing works i did not change the collector resistor and emitter resistor but i have included a new resistor 6.8 kilo ohms and 33 kilo ohm resistance at the base 6 The 6.8 kilo ohm resistance other end goes to the negative of the supply, and the 33 kilo ohm resistance other end goes to the positive of the supply. Both of them are from the base. I am going to take readings for table 6.5. The same voltages, excepting that at the base you have two resistors R1 and R2. I am going to measure those voltages also. voltage across the collector and emitter is here voltage across the collector resistor voltage across r1 voltage across r2 have changed it to a meter and i'm going to measure the collector current and the base current collector current I have opened the collector. I have connected the positive of the ammeter here, negative of the ammeter here, and I am measuring the current. It's showing 0.14 milliamps. For measuring the base current, I have to open up at this end, and I have to connect my ammeter here. Let me show you how to do. Take out at this end, put it a point, and connect. here and here look at the readings for three different transistors there is no much change in any of the values therefore we can say that with voltage divider bias the transistor is more stable